Hey guys, today we're going to make this beautiful heart-shaped crystal into a sliding knot necklace. It's quite similar on the front and the back. The back has a knot there, and we've got a little bead at the top, and then we've got two sliding knots at the top to make it adjustable. So things we need today are a ruler, scissors, lighter, and this here is a one millimeter waxed twine. Then we need one of these really cute little crystal hearts. So this one here is about 2.5 centimeters wide or 25 millimeters wide and it's about one centimeter thickness. Then I've got a little six millimeter stainless steel bead with a two millimeter hole so it can fit over our knot. To start with we want to measure out about 40 inches which is about 102 centimetres of our wax twine. Now we want to find the centre of our twine. So just grab the two ends, pull them together, and then go to the opposite end. And on this end here, we're going to make a little knot about 2.5 centimetres along the end there. So just measuring it and then we want to make sure it's nice and tight. So you have a little loop there now on the end. So you want to grab your crystal and just place this around the bottom of the heart with the knot at the back and the little tails kind of pointing upwards at the back. You want to pull the tails up and over the top of the heart crystal and then feed them down under the twine that crosses the front. So, so you want them coming over the top of the V part of the heart, just at the top there. So just grabbing the tails that have come through under that part that goes across the front. So you want to pull the tails tight and upwards, sort of wiggling them and making sure they're flat. And you're just manoeuvring the twine on each side and at the top and then flipping it over as well and just making sure your knot is where you want it to be. So see how that's moved up a bit? So just move it back to the middle and keep working with your twine so that it sort of sits nicely in how you want it because it's got to be quite nice and tight. You just keep wiggling it and making sure it's fit, fitting nicely. And you just want to make sure it's tight enough that the wire can't slip over or under the heart. It must be secure. So now we've got our two tails coming off the one side. So just flip it over there. And then with one of the tails, we need to poke it underneath the knot. So gently we need to just lift this knot here on the back so that it's got enough that we can just poke that tail underneath. And then we need to pull it nice and tight, sort of in the upwards direction again. And again, just wiggling it and making sure that it's all tight and sitting nicely where you want it to. We don't want it to have any give anywhere where it could slip over the end of the heart. Now just gently, again, working that whole design so it's nice and tight, pulling it up to the top, and then we're ready to tie our knot. So holding it nice and tight in our left hand, we're basically doing a square knot. So pulling the top tail down over the bottom one and then looping it up underneath to make the first half of the knot. So pull that tight and then we do the opposite with the other half of the knot. 
so that just makes the other side of it but just make sure it's pulled nice and tight really important It's a square knot but it's basically it's on its side how I'm doing it here <laughs> so I'll show you in a little picture okay so now you've sort of got the base of your design so it's a really good time now to just check and make sure that your two sides of your twine on your heart can't move up or down to where it can get anywhere over the crystal or it will fall out. So just make sure that there's not enough movement there that it can go to the bottom or across the top. Hearts are actually quite tricky to wrap because they're quite similar shaped and it's polished. So there's sort of nothing really to hold on to for the twine to grab onto. But if there's movement there, it's probably best that you undo it now and just redo it while you can or, or you're going to lose your crystal. Okay, so if it's good to go, then I, I would just grab your bead and pop that on the twine. Now just push it right down to the bottom and then over the top of the knot. So it sort of hides that knot nicely. My ends are a little bit different here, so I'm just going to trim them up to be about the same. And then we're going to work on our adjustable sliding knots. To start with, just lay the necklace down, how it will sit. So just overlapping at the top there, and that's going to be the adjustable part. Now just holding it in my left hand, and in between my fingers I'm going to hold those with the tail at the back there and then just bringing that tail forward and under and that just creates one little loop there so I'll hold that with my left hand and then I'm going to just repeat that step so push that tail down and pull it out the back and then that creates another loop there and now we just need to poke that tail part down the loops so just push it down the hole there and then just pulling the little tail out the back of our knot and then just gently pull all the sort of sides just gently so that you can pull your knot tight okay so there's one sliding knot on the one side now just swapping the necklace over to the opposite side and then we repeat that same process so holding it in your left hand tail at the back and just bring it over the top and out the back to make that first loop holding it there with your left hand and then over the top and out the back for the second loop and then just poking that little tail end down the two loops so just down that hole there and then pulling it gently and there's our second sliding knot okay so now we're just going to gently snip these ends off. So I just did a couple of mil off the knot, just snip it off there and then we just singe the end so it doesn't fray. So that's the good thing about wax twine, I like being able to just singe it. And then we'll do this one as well. our sliding knot necklace with a wrapped crystal heart.